Hi everyone, today we're going to make a really simple clamp mount for our cell phone. We're going to use an old tripod. This is one of those ones that they often give away for free. They're not very good, but they're okay um, if you've got nothing better. And they come with this little phone holder, which is quite useful. So we're going to use this. We're going to use one of these hardware clamps. These are often used in woodworking and things like that. It's not super strong, but it's good enough for what we need to do today. And then some miscellaneous bolts, nuts, washers, that kind of thing. I've got bags of these from old projects that I just keep to make sure I've always got one of the right size. The reason I'm making this is I tried to use my Gorillapod yesterday and it was a piece of glass like this, much thicker. It's basically at the edge of a fence, you know, like inside a mall when you're looking over the edge. Well, I put my Gorillapod like this and I was trying to get it to secure and I did manage to take the shot but it could have easily just fallen off like this so yeah that's why I want to make this. Now this clamp isn't very strong so it's really only good for cell phones. Don't try and use this for larger cameras. So the first thing we're going to do is just remove this phone holder from the tripod. Then we open up the legs and we can see that there's a screw underneath so we'll remove that screw and there we go now we've got the legs and we've got this ball head separate. Now the ball head is what we want because we want to attach it to our clamp here so we can move it around depending on which way the camera should be facing. So I went through my bag of bolts and nuts and so on and I found one which fits and this screws in here just like the original bolt because the original one is far too short. Now you might do this slightly differently depending on the tripod that you're using, the clamp that you're using, the bolts, etc. But this just gives you a rough idea of how I'm doing it. So the next step is to make a hole in here so that I can put my bolt through. Now I could just expand this hole, but that's on the thinnest piece of the plastic. So I'd rather do it here where the plastic's a lot thicker. Now you could use a drill for this, but I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors. And there you go, I'm already through. And I'll just make the hole bigger until it fits the bolt. Careful you don't go too big, you want it to be a tight fit. Now I could put the bolt all the way through, but I think it would be structurally stronger if I use a washer and have it sit on these two ledges here instead of the head going all the way inside, so that's how I'm going to do it. Again, you might do it slightly differently. Now I could probably do with a slightly bigger washer, but I'll probably add one later. Anyway, now let's put a nut on top just to lock it in place, and I'll put another little washer on top, and I'll lock it down using a pair of pliers. There we go. So that's now nice and secure in the clamp. Now we just screw our ball head on and that's it, it's finished. We just put the original phone holder back on and it's ready to be used. Now like I said this isn't for really heavy cameras, just use it for cell phones and again you know take your own chances. There is a possibility that this could fail and that your camera or your phone might fall but let's just uh, screw this in. So here's the side of my desk, let's clamp it on. Now you can see it's a bit wonky, but that's okay because we've got this ball joint which we can adjust. So if I loosen it, I can get it into the position I want. Let's say around about there. Tighten up this joint. And there you go. Now it's secure. I can do a time lapse, I can do a video. It's quite useful for just clipping around things. So I paused the camera for a minute because I wanted to get these larger washers. That makes this whole thing a lot more secure. So let's try and clamp it around this post here. Now I know what you're thinking, it's pointing down. Well again, that's where the ball head comes in useful. All we have to do is loosen it up, adjust the camera, tighten it in place, and there you go. It's now pointing where we want it to point, and I can move it down the post just like this. And then for a last example, let's try and put it around the glass. So if we imagine this was the glass railing that we saw in my picture earlier, I can put it on here like this. Now of course the problem is it's portrait. Well this thing is somewhat adjustable, I can actually turn it, let me hold this, I can turn it like that and let me just move my tripod back and there you go, you can see it's clamping on, we've got the right angle, it's somewhat adjustable. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very simple and it's just made out of scraps of stuff that I already had laying around. A DIY clamp tripod. Is it the best? No. But we made it from scraps of old stuff that we had laying around. It does work. It's not the strongest clamp ever because it's just, you know, a small hardware clamp, but it's super cheap. Um, this will become loose over time, so you'd have to carry around a screwdriver if you're going to use this all the time. Is it perfect? No. Does it work? Yes, it would do. My recommendation would be to buy a proper clamp tripod, especially one of those ones with the bendy goose neck. That would be so much easier to use than this. But for now, this would do me until I get something better, and it was a fun little project. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.